Hello, beautiful, brilliant black women, goddess born. I hope you are doing well. And I hope you're holding yourselves, daughters, granddaughters, nieces, and goddess daughters uplifted, held sacred, and protected. Girl, I need to apologize to all of us as black women. Um, we're going to get into it. I just want to make sure that... Um, I am completely transparent as I often do be <laughs> and tell you that in my quest to ensure that you can feel confident um, with learning how to protect yourself and um, your children, I forgot something very key about a lot of us as black women. Well, probably a couple of more than a couple of things. But anyway, we'll bring it together. First of all, shout out to my co-noir auntie, Miss Deanne Matthews. We do a live that is informative, fun, and um, we come up with solutions to problems that are occurring for us as black women and black girls and our children. Now, Miss Deanne, as she off do be, um, pointed some things out to me. And I love that. Like, I love our exchanges because I learned so much from her. Um, and yesterday I posted a video in which we were talking about me being I was at home and I, you know, told you guys, I, I will lay in the bed. I'll be sitting on the couch or whatever, and I will go get one of my guns and just work with it. Or I might get a couple of them and work with them, you know, just while I'm watching TV and stuff. So it's it's not that I just go to the lane or that I do um, practicing um, drawing and pulling and all of those things around my house, but it's also that. I um, am learning from different ranges, different instructors. And of course, I love me some YouTube tactical girl. Don't get me started. Okay, so I'm going to be manipulating uh, two of my pew pews while we're talking about this. Okay, so they're both sitting here next to me. And what I'm, I just pulled it up. I have, I, you would normally, I don't have the magazine in there, but you would normally pop the magazine and you, you would take the safety off if you have one and make sure it's clear. So every time, I don't care if I just put this down and then I pick it back up, I'm going to pop the magazine, make the magazine drop out and check it. I don't care how many times I put it down for two seconds. I don't care if I just turned around, I'm going to. This is how you release the magazine on this particular. Uh, this is a Ruger security light rack, and this is my favorite EDC, so meaning everyday carry. So I just push the button, the mag pops, drops out, and again, my finger is not on the trigger because I'm not shooting yet, right? And, um, you know, you can see here the sights and all of this. Well, what this one has a a um, trigger guard as well and it has a safety right here which I like I feel like okay because sometimes we don't feel comfortable loading loading um, the bullet into the slide and carrying it around at first it takes a little bit of practice to to feel comfortable with that and it's like um, driving a car oh yeah a car is a very dangerous uh, weapon in the wrong damn hands. However, practicing, learning the laws, learning the rules really um, helps you to learn how to drive a car, right? And then you go through all the steps um, to get your license. So it, it's, a, it's a very similar concept. And this is me trying to help us right, to feel comfortable with taking our own security in our hands. Ooh, girl, I put a red dot on this one, too. I got a green one, too, girl. Let me tell you one thing. 
I just want to tell y'all one thing. See that red dot? Um, that's why I always be saying, oh, we leave the light on. Meaning my red dot, girl. Don't play games. Don't play games. Okay. So, um, what Miss D was saying to me, because I was like, how? I don't get it. Um, I'm not getting this across to black women properly. Like, there's still this, like, oh, no, I'll never pick up a gun. I was talking to my cousin, and she was like, no, if I picked up a gun, I would use it. Uh, that's the point. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't, most of the time, you're never going to have to to pull your gun unless you're trying to protect yourself, right? So this idea that we're just going to go around because we're black women and people keep telling us we're so angry and emotional and all of this stuff when we are the ones who actually have the best control over our emotions and we take the time to respond, especially in an escalated situation, okay? But the other thing that she pointed out to me, because I don't really think like this, she pointed out to me that a lot of Black women, of course, have a real fear of, okay, if I have to pull my gun, like my cousin said, this is really what she meant. If she, if she had a gun and she had to pull it, she would use it, which translate into um, how a lot of black women feel, which is that, hey, let's put this for now, which is that, hey, I don't want to take someone's life because we are very compassionate and kind people and we really just want to live our lives. So I picked her up. I would pop the mag. I don't have a magazine in here, though. And she's not loaded. So see how I'm grabbing it? I'm tight here. My finger again. You, I don't, I'm talking to you, but I don't really have to think about it anymore because I practice, practice, practice. So with black women, let's get the other one back again. When black women are a lot of times thinking about, oh, I can't, I can't. I cannot um, touch a gun. It's too dangerous and all of these things. Um, let me tell you, your assailant, assaulter, and batterer don't give a damn. So in my mind, I'm thinking, well, this will, this will stop someone from har physically harming you, tr assaulting and battering you, or taking your life I'm not thinking about the predator okay but black women because we're so compassionate most of us okay I can be if I choose but still um we're so compassionate most of us the idea that you would take someone's life even if it means your own life being taken you know in the reverse we just get, we just are like, no, no. And what I'm saying to you is, I understand. And we also, I would pop the mag. Police safety. Okay, because I just put her down, right? So I am telling you, we would, we also deserve to have, um, security, safety, and protection. And it is all on us to protect ourselves. I don't care if you're married or not. I don't care if you, who your partner is. I don't care. You're not going to be with that person 24 seven. Okay. People be working and going to the store separately. Hell, going to the bathroom. All right. Um, so I can protect my husband just as well as he can protect me. All right. Um, so I didn't set her down. I didn't um, take my hand off of her. So I just want you all to know, I, I apologize. I wasn't thinking of that we are so compassionate that we would rather be hurt than not than to hurt someone else or take their life. So I understand that. And let's get past it. Love y'all.